And if you're still looking for a reason why you should upgrade your old LCD screen with a brand new OLED monitor, that's the one. No Rest for the Wicked is a fantastic game. Not just in regards of gameplay, sound and the yeah, overall presentation. No, HDR in this game is just on a different level. Unfortunately, we have bugs as well. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. So first of all we need to consider that we're still talking about our early access game. That means we should now we shouldn't expect bugs but we should not be surprised if there are some issues with the game and I found in regards of the HDR presentation the HDR settings I found some bugs but Let's start from the very beginning. This game unfortunately does not support the HDR system level calibration on Windows 11. So that's where I'm testing the game right now. Steam early access, but again, no HDR system level calibration support. Not having the HDR system level calibration support in a game is usually not a deal breaker. I mean, at least that's my opinion. When we have proper HDR settings in a game, but to be very honest, in 2024, I'm expecting a little bit more because we're talking about a brand new game. The HDR system level calibration support would make things much easier. So again, if we have proper settings, not a big deal breaker or not a big deal. But in this case, we have the problem that the first settings, what you can see here, brightness, contrast and saturation, it's actually broken at the moment. As soon you change one of those settings by just one click, you have a terrible HDR presentation. This is right now not working as it should be in my opinion because yeah, you can see this on the results here. You will just destroy the whole picture. So my recommendation right now is do not touch brightness, contrast and saturation until this is fixed. The user interface brightness setting is working without any issue. At least that's what I found with my version of the game. So this is really just affecting the symbols, user interface elements on the screen. So you can change this one as you like it. Okay, so let's move on and let's talk about the base brightness setting, HDR contrast and richness setting. And what I found is that the maximum peak brightness in this game when you increase the base brightness setting to 150 and you also increase the HDR contrast setting to 150 is roughly around 1800, 1900 nits. Maybe it's limited to 2000 nits. Okay, so that's the absolute maximum peak brightness what I found in this game. And this is where I'm a little bit disappointed as well because I mean, don't get me wrong, 2000 nits maximum peak brightness sounds a lot, but we are going to get TVs they can actually deliver or monitors or screens they can actually deliver a much higher maximum peak brightness and this is a brand new game that means you will play this game for years you know okay maybe not for years but you get my point that's a brand new game and next year we have a new generation of monitors screens and TVs so having a little bit of a higher peak brightness capability in this game would be nice don't get me wrong Right now, 2000 nits, especially with my TV here, the LG G2 is more than enough. But again, that's actually already an old TV. The LG G2 is an old TV. We have now the LG G4 with, yeah, I think a maximum peak brightness of around 1500 nits. And some of the LCD, mini LED TVs and whatever, they can achieve a much higher maximum peak brightness. So again, 2000 nits, yes, sounds a lot, but to be very honest, also for a brand new game, a little bit disappointing. One of the very good things what I found with this game is that the HDR black level floor is just spot on. In some occasions with the standard factory settings, I found it actually maybe a little bit too much, especially when you play in a little bit of a brighter room. But if you play in a complete dark room, the standard factory settings are actually pretty good. So what I found is that if I would not touch any setting, the maximum peak brightness is limited to around 1000 nits, which of course fits my LG G2 here perfectly. And even on the LG CX, it looked pretty well. So the really good news is that regardless of what setting you're actually changing, and now we're talking about the HDR base brightness and HDR contrast, you will never have any issues with the HDR black level floor. 
And now of course the question is what settings should you use to match the capabilities of your screen TV and monitor and that's a very good question and not very easy to answer because when we're looking at the settings again all what we're getting is actually just sliders and we talked about the first three settings okay do not touch brightness contrast saturation at this very moment because those settings are broken okay I repeat brightness contrast saturation do not touch okay all what we can change is base brightness HDR contrast and richness but now the question is how or what are we doing actually because you can see we're just getting the slider and yes you can see something is changing on the screen but what is now the right setting for your screen but to make it a little bit more simpler for you i prepared this excel sheet with my recommended settings all what you need to know is now the maximum peak brightness capability of your screen tv or monitor and then yeah just have fun but again remember you can set up those settings the hdr brightness setting or the contrast hdr setting as you like it because in regards of the hdr black level floor there is no problem at all. So there's one more setting we need to talk about, the HDR saturation setting. And what I found after my testing is that I would not recommend, so that's my strong recommendation, do not decrease this setting. You can either leave it as it is or you increase the setting because as soon you decrease the setting, you will lose a lot of HDR colors. So this game, no rest for the wicked, has an average HDR color support, I would say. Or let's say like this, where I tested the game so far, that's what I found, okay? So I'm not saying that maybe in different levels or later on, there are more HDR colors, but right now it's just average, in my opinion. That doesn't mean it looks bad, okay? Don't get me wrong. But again, in regards of the HDR saturation setting, I would not recommend to decrease this setting. Okay, my friends, so that's it for now. And of course, I will update you if there's any changes in regards of the broken settings what we have right now in this game, because I'm pretty sure if those settings would work, maybe we can actually have an even better HDR experience. But right now, I'm actually pretty happy because the standard factory setting out of the box is actually pretty good, okay? Especially when you're playing on LG CX or the G2 here, it's just fine. There's not much what you need to change. But again, the settings, HDR settings, the HDR settings working actually pretty well. So you can change them as you like it. So let me know in the comment section how you like the game, what settings are you using? And please, as always, keep me up to date if there is an update because most of the time actually I'm getting very great comments actually and help from the community when there are or if there are updates on the games and then I will check it out of course. So thank you very much for this and yeah I, I just like this game. I, I really like it because it's exactly the type of game what I love to play okay. So again I hope the fixing the bugs in terms of the settings there are some performance issues as well what I can yeah, what I have found so far with my system here. But again, early access, I'm not complaining, not trying to complain too much, but yeah, hopefully we will see some bug fixes as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching me. And as always, if you're new to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.